Hi, I've written and spoken a lot about the need for active listening, the need for leaders and everyone else to be really good active listeners. And there's an assumption that it's easy to listen and to really listen, it's not. It is an art form in many ways. And I was encouraged to talk and write about it again due to this article in the Harvard Business Review this month, this quarter, I should say. And I love the picture. The article's written by Adam Bryant and Kevin Scherer. And if you're a leader and you ever ask yourself the question, how can I really find out what's going on? Then the answer to that is to listen and to actively listen. Otherwise, you won't know the danger that's coming or the opportunity that you need to pounce on. And the lack of listening can make or break an organisation. So this week, I want to talk about five tips, some of that um, Adam and Kevin touch on in their article as well. The first being the absolute need for psychological safety. The term, as you will probably know, was coined by Prof uh, Harvard professor Amy Edmondson. And in a nutshell, psychological safety means that there is no fear, employees have no fear about speaking up, asking questions, challenging decisions, and bringing themselves to the table. Uh, if there's a fear of repercussion or being treated differently for asking a question or speaking out, then your employees will stop. And that silence as a result of a lack of psychological safety can kill your organisation. It's an absolute imperative that your employees trust you, that you're not going to punish them. They're not going to have something happen um, because you didn't like what they had to say. They need to know that their input is valued and will be listened to. They know when you're not listening to them. And I'll touch that on that later in the week. So if you don't create this environment, you're basically going around, as it says in the article, in a bubble or with blinkers on. You're not seeing the whole picture. It's often the people on the front line, your troops, your staff, that really know what's going on and um, can, can really help you steer your organisation. So create psychological safety, get rid of the silence and encourage people to speak up. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.